Today we're checking out a few new knives and starting it off we have the Illusion from Reich Knives. Keto or Reich Knives, whichever you want to call it. Drop point recurved Tanto in M390 steel. That, uh, that little subtle recurve will trap materials. It also helps make the secondary tip a little bit pokier. And since the tip, the primary tip drops down, it's going to be easy to use. So this is a very functional Tonto blade shape. Then we have a titanium frame lock. And if you look at the titanium frame lock, inside this little spot right here, there's actually a place for a tritium insert. Which is really cool, man. I want to get some tritium to, to put in some of the... Because I have a bunch of knives and other things that actually have the same thing, have the tritium inserts. But I just need to get some tritium inserts that fit. I really don't even know how to go about doing that. Now, the blade on this is almost... It's not mirror, but it's such a fine blasted finish that it's very reflective, as you can see. The clip is a titanium mill pocket clip. It works great in and out of the pocket. We have a full titanium backspacer with a lanyard pin, a hidden lanyard pin. Phenomenal front flipping action. I mean, you can just see how the front flipper is positioned relative to the pivot and to the scale. So you can see this one's going to be easy to use. I wish the jimping was a little bit sharper. It's a little fine, but... The thing is, is this front flipper so good, you, you could do it without, without jimping. So, um, very, very fidgety. Then you have this Fuller. Now, the Fuller works really, really well because the detent is not super strong. I mean, it's not weak by any means, right? But you can thrust it out if you really, really wanted to. But that also makes it a lot easier for the reverse flick. If it was any stronger, it might not be very enjoyable. However, it is very enjoyable because the detent is not super strong. Because this, um, the fuller is not super sharp. It's sharp enough, so it does work really, really well. I'm not saying it doesn't. Um, but luckily, the detent is not tuned too strong. Otherwise, it might be an issue. But in this case, it works really, really well. You can also do the slow roll all the way around. Very ergonomic. You could choke up. A um, lot of cool qualities with this one. This one's um, a pretty cool one. Some people are scared of Tontos a little bit, but I'm telling you, man, if you get when you get the right Tonto, they work really, really well. And this is an example of one that will be very awesome for EDC purposes because of the way it is designed. Now the next one we're going to go through quickly because I technically do not have it, but I seen on Blade HQ that they have Rat Ones and S35VN available right now, at least at the time I'm filming this. Um, they've had them before, but they always had, I think the, the original one that I seen had red scales and I'm um, pretty sure it sold out. Um, I'm not sure, but anyways, they have other colors now, so you can get them in, I think, green and a black, I believe, something like that. But the Ontario Rat one is, there's a reason why it was labeled the best budget knife for so many years. Because it is an awesome, awesome knife design. And it still is. And now that, you know, you can get it in S35VN, it makes you feel really good about, you know, the steel and everything. Because Aus 8, not the best steel. And then you can also get it in D2, which is still, you know, that's still, you know, it's a... Uh, it's, a, it's an okay steal for the price. It just depends on how much money you're spending. But S35VN is much better. You know, it's a nice stainless steel, good edge retention, plenty of toughness, and it's a little bit more... Um, it makes you feel a little bit better about the price. And this, as far as the S35VN goes, it's under $100. So made in Taiwan, I think that's a pretty good deal. These liners are made to actually break before they'll fail so they're not going to slip out of the way. If you watch some of the destruction tests on this knife, these knives are super tough. Like, way tougher than I ever would have imagined. Now, this one is a modified one. So, you know, you can't buy this one. This is a modified one. It has the spidey hole and a choil put in and then a stone-washed and acid-etched blade. But these are riding on Foster Bronze washers. Very ergonomic, very tough very solid and just awesome awesome knives next is the kubi ku 355 a justin lundquist design i love the the sheath that they added with it it's a really good quality sheath it's 
fits really good. Uh, no rattle, no tap, and then it has a beautiful tech lock. These um, are my favorite ways to attach a sheath to your belt because, you know, they're adjustable. They're very easy to put on and off. You can, you know, like I said, you can adjust them for whatever angle you want. Now, these are basically little, I guess you could just call them just little EDC knives. They're very pokey. I could see somebody maybe using this as a little self-defense knife, but to me, this is just a little utility blade. It's something, you know, you could take out to, you know, cut food or to cut string or to open something up. It's not going to be extremely ergonomic. So that's what kind of leans me away from it being a self-defense knife, unless if it's in the reverse grip and you cap it off, you know, but as far as the forward grip goes, it's just so slim that, uh, that you wouldn't want to, uh, go crazy. But as far as light duty EDC goes, it'll be great. It is a straight back blade. So it's not a drop point. This is a straight back. Um, so it has not a ton of belly because it kind of is, it's so long, you know, the, the belly, it does have a belly, but it's not like a scooping belly, which allows you to still get to the tip really well. So pinch grips, opening things up. This thing's going to be great. You can see it obviously comes in different materials and it is full tang love to see that 14c 28m blade steel so for a thin thinner blade you know or i should say slimmer and thinner blade the blade stock thickness isn't too thin but i was just going to say that for a slim blade you know it's going to have plenty of toughness with the 14c uh plenty of corrosion resistance too but if you want that little extra you can get it coated and yeah it's a cool little knife. And this is one example where I'm not going to complain about the, the choil because you can always just add one in yourself. Quick little Dremel, bzz, cut it out. You can uh, use a carbide cutting tool and easily cut yourself in the choil. All in all, it's a cool little blade. You know, it, it's definitely a light duty EDC. It's not something, you know, you're going to be going crazy with, but that's actually the majority of cutting people use their knives for. It's just basic light duty EDC purposes. And this is a great little fixed blade to do it with. And it's so lightweight, man. Like you could carry this and probably not even know it's on you. This next one is a knife design that I did feature in a video, but I had to take it down. The video's gone, so I figured I'd show you guys again. This is a new premium limited edition CRKT, the Always Pocket Carrier, the APC. It is designed by Ken Steigerwalt, and it has a spear point. You can see the satin finish run side to side, spear point blade, an M390 steel, and it is a little slippy with titanium liners, titanium backspacer, and, you know, an M390 blade. And, the, um, and then the carbon fiber, the blue carbon fiber scales. So I got to say, I love, love, love to see CRKT jumping into this realm. I'd love to see a lot more of it. You know, this is a very, very simple EDC, but, you know, made of premium materials. A lot of people really like these little pen knives like this. You just drop it at the bottom of your pocket. Now, you can also get a sheath for it if you wanted to. Um, the pull on it... The blade, luckily, this one doesn't have a strong pull off the start because, you know, the blade does not pop out very much. You do have to use the nail nick, but it's very easy. I could technically just pinch and pull it, though. So, because, like I said, it's not a super strong um, spring when you open it, but the half stop does get a little bit snappier. So, nice snap to it. It's more of a quiet slip joint, so not the loudest walk and talk. But it does feel elegant. It feels very well done. And, you know, with these little pen blades, man, these things are so slicey and just so useful. You know, for basic cutting tasks, these things are awesome. And I love that they're using titanium, man. I want to see more and more of that from CRKT. Really quick, you can just take a look at the little paper right here. Fat carbon fiber, dark matter, limited to 500 pieces. So not very many of these. Another one that they have that's limited is this guy. I freaking love this thing. This is by far the best CRKT I have ever experienced times 10. Uh, this one's also limited, but it is so, so well done. We have M390 steel, titanium bolsters with a titanium liner, with this 
crazy cool carbon fiber. I love the way the blue pops out and then you can see the, you know, the hints of blue all the way around. I do have a full video on this if you want to see it. It is so fidgety. The hollow grind is so thin. It, it, it's in its own. Basically a full hollow. The action is insanely good. Ergos are good. Everything is good about this. Like I, I had very, very little negatives on this, which is so surprising when we're talking about CRKT. Because as you guys know, you know, I've been pretty critical over CRKT. So love to see them jumping into, you know, a premium, even if it is a limited edition, premium knives that are done extremely well. By the way, it does come in a really nice box with a pouch. So, with the card and all of that good stuff. So, nice packaging as well. Both of them come with nice packaging. Now, really quick, I just want to briefly talk about this knife really quick because I did just feature it in a video. But for some reason, it really did not get any traction. I'm not sure if you guys just didn't like it, didn't want to see it. I don't know. But it, it just seems like, like nobody's seen it. So, I figured I'd just briefly show you guys. And if you guys want to see more, you guys can go and watch the full video. But this thing is one of the most detailed knives I've experienced yet this year. This thing has details I've never seen on any other knife in my life life basically the blade is it's all well it has a replaceable m390 blade but the 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 mechanism or the um the part that holds on to the blade is its own system so basically you can take the pivot completely out and it doesn't matter because the blade is all on its own so i can literally just that's my fault you can literally use it just like you know you would if it uh, did have the pivots in there. So no play, no nothing, rock solid because it's all put together with that screw and then the screw down here, making it almost like an integral. I know it has screws, so it's not an integral, but it's very solid. And then the blade, the bearings, all of that is all built into the blade. This thing has four sets of ceramic caged bearings. That's crazy. Four bearings, two on each side, because the, the bearings are built into the blade, which is so crazy. I've never seen anything like that. And then I've also never seen M390, you know, I don't know if they have replaceable blades, if you can buy the replacements, but this thin of an M390 blade with like a, a five degree edge bevel, it makes this thing incredibly incredibly slicey so awesome awesome little knife i just figured i'd show you guys it really quick if you want to see the inside of it and see all the details because there's way more details that i'm not bringing up right now you know just for time but go watch that video and you will see man there are so 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 many details on this knife that just like i said i i've never seen anything like it and it does make it at this point um the the most I'd say the most detailed knife and the most unique knife so far in 2024. And that is the Reich Alien. And it does look like an alien too, doesn't it? <laughs> it absolutely does. So work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.